Hey guys, welcome back. Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials. How are you guys doing? Well, today we have another very short video in the uh, short video series. And in this video, I'm going to explain two methods that will allow you to move your pivot point. All right. So we're just going to create a simple cube here. We're going to pull that up. Now, if I were to hit W to move my cube, you can see that my pivot point is exactly in the middle of my cube, right? Now, why is it called pivot point? That's because that is the point where the object would pivot if I were to rotate it. So if I hit E, you can see that it's rotating around that point. Okay, cool. Now, let's say you want to move that pivot point. Now, why would you want to do that? For example, let's say you have um, this cube and you want to copy it and set one exactly on top of it, right? Now, you would have to have your pivot point in the corner here to make it snap, for example. That's one reason. Another reason could be that if you want to scale this out, so I'm gonna hit R, and I'm scaling it, it's scaling out both ways because my pivot point's in the middle. If I were to move my pivot point over to this side, it would only scale out on that end, right? And that can be very useful when you're modeling, okay? So we're gonna move that pivot point. Now, again, there are two methods to do that. One is that you can hit the insert key on your keyboard. As soon as I hit the insert key, it's in move pivot point modus, if you will, right? And you can see that that symbol has changed. So now I can just drag that pivot point around to let's say over there okay i hit the insert key again and now when i hit e to rotate it's reacting totally different okay now that's one method the thing there is that as long as the insert key is not pressed again so i'm going to hit it again okay it's going to stay like that until you hit the insert key again there's another method to do this. What you can do is, when you've got your pivot point here, is you hold down the D key, D for dominoes, okay? Hold down the D key, your symbol is changing, you can move it around, and as soon as you're done, you just let go of the D key, like so. So, there you go, just hitting D, all right? So that's the quick and simple tip for today, that's it. And if you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.